Hello and welcome to ThoughtStream Consulting's online TM1 tutorials. Today we're going to final or close out the three-part series entitled Manually Creating Dimensions. Well, now I have to be a little honest here and say that this last technique actually really isn't manual. It's actually pretty pretty uh, automated. We're going to be using TM1's ETL tool called Turbo Integrator. Turbo Integrator is an incredibly powerful ETL tool that allows you to connect to a variety of data sources and ERP systems, um, whether they're flat files, SAP, um, other, other cubes within TM1, um, or other servers within your TM1 system. It doesn't matter. TM1 and Turbo Integrator can connect to it, pull that data, transform it, move it, build it, whatever you want. So what we're going to do today to illustrate some of the basic functionality of Turbo Integrator is to create a regions dimension for our fictitious restaurant business. I created a, uh, an account code that indicates uh, the ge geography of each restaurant in the location in the city that it's located in. So what we're going to do is uh, bring in that, dat that data, create the dimension with its elements, and then assign attribute, alias attributes to the account codes that indicate the name of the city in which the uh, city or the restaurant uh, resides. So let's get started. Begin by navigating through the Server Explorer window on, to the Processes module and right-click it, and then select Create New Process. This brings up the Turbo Integrator window, and from here in the Data Source tab, you can select where you're pulling your data from. For today, we're pulling it from a a CSV file that I created in Excel. Um, once you pull up your data, you can hit preview and it will show you a sample of the, the data in which you're pulling from. We are going to be pulling from the region account codes and the uh, region description city uh, account attributes. So it should be pretty easy. Now click on the variables tab to define these. On this top row, the region is a numeric variable type, but that's only because T01 recognizes this uh, as a sample value as digits. Uh, we want to change this to string because although these are actual uh, numerical numbers, they don't actually hold value. These are uh, metadata that describe the uh, data and specifically the geography of each restaurant. And then under contents, we're going to select element. This tells Turbo Integrator that we want to pull this account and turn it into a dimension. Next, we're going to go to the row 5, which has a sample value Los Angeles, so that tells us that that's the city attribute, and we're going to change this to vCity. Now, I'm only doing that for my own kind of well-being, so I, can, I don't have to backtrack and remember which, which, number v, or, uh, which attribute v5 is. I now know that this is the city that we're going to be dealing with. Now, we're going to change the contents from ignore to attribute. Now we're going to click, click the Maps tab to allocate and associate the attributes with the correct dimension. In the Cube Action uh, screen, we don't have to do anything because we're just creating dimension. We're not creating, recreating, or updating a cube, and the data action isn't of any use to us because we're not dealing with any actual data values. So let's go ahead and click the Dimensions tab. Under this, we are now going to tell Turbo Integrator that we want to create the dimension called Regions. So since we don't actually have this dimension yet, just type in the name of the dimension. Now, under action, it says create an element type. It says numeric. Now, don't get confused with this element, not element type being numeric and under variables, the variable type being string. We want this to be numeric because that indicates that later on when we have uh, a cube and regions as part of that, it can hold a numeric value. It can, you know, for the transaction that someone bought $50 worth of beef brisket, we can actually look at that $50 of beef brisket by region, by product, and by sales employee or whatever dimension we want to look at. So leave that uh, as numeric and then click the attributes subtab. Under here we've got vCity variable, Los Angeles sample value, the dimension region, so that's correct. We want to attribute the vCity attribute, which is Los Angeles sample value, to the region's dimension. Let's name it description city. Hit enter. Action create attribute type. Now, as I mentioned, we're going to create a alias attribute, so we can look at the account codes um, by the uh, the city and not just by the number one one zero one. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit the advanced tab and then click through the prolog, metadata, data, and epilog tabs. Now we'll get into more detail about the uh, uses of these uh, tabs later on, but basically right now they're not important because we're not dealing with data, we're not creating a cube, and we're not doing anything really, really complex. Uh, but they all have a, a function which helps automate and speed up the process in which uh, you can move your data around, create structures, create cubes, uh, and all that. So now that we've done that, let's save our process as create regions with attributes. Then hit OK and run the process. 
we get a process completed successfully box. That's great. And I'm going to close this out. And now I'm going to open up my regions dimension. And there we go. So these are all the elements that we brought in from our flat file. And now to make sure that our attributes and our aliases came through, you just click the Zorro mask or the alias button. And there they are. Los Angeles is also the account code 1101. And Denver is the account code 2101. So now, depending on what the person that you're working for needs, they can look at their regions by either the account code number or the actual name of the city. So there you go. That's how you create a dimension and assign a alias attribute to the elements using Turbo Integrator. I hope you found this informative. If you have any further questions, please feel free to contact us at www.thoughtstreamconsulting.com. Thanks.